You were not gonna believe how much life lives underneath this lighthouse here in the Florida Keys. There's sharks, rays, and the biggest barracudas you have ever seen. There's so much to explore, so let's see what I can capture. The Florida Keys have no shortage of underwater places to explore. Between the pristine reefs and deep wrecks, it takes an entire lifetime to explore every known spot. However, these waters hold another gem, and that is the famous Alligator Lighthouse. You are looking at one of the most popular places in the Florida Keys. It's known statewide for its snorkeling, and for good reason. This is one of the best snorkeling spots in the world, and if you get there early enough to have it all to yourself, you you have the adventure of a lifetime waiting for you. So this is our first spot of the day, the famous Alligator Reef Lighthouse. So Brian, what makes this spot so unique and what do you think we can see under the surface? Well, it's so unique because number one, you got the lighthouse, of course, and uh, we're in a no fishing sanctuary here. So by nature, you're gonna have more sea life and more fish here than most other places we go. You're gonna see snappers, you're gonna see groupers, you're gonna see nurse sharks, you're gonna see barracudas, you're gonna see sergeant majors and surgeon fish and anything you can name that might live on the reef, you could absolutely see here and we do on a daily basis. So this is one of the best snorkeling spots in the Keys, correct? I would agree with that 100%. I've snorkeled all the way from Key Largo down to Key West, and this definitely makes my top three. Awesome, I'm super excited to get in the water and see what we can come across, so let's see what happens. I've never had Alligator Lighthouse to myself before, so I was super excited to jump in. I grabbed my Nomad and started diving around. This was one of the best diving days of my life, and it immediately started off with these nurse sharks at the bottom. I've seen these sharks every time I've been to the spot. Spot, but they were especially active today. A few minutes later, I came back and you could see the imprints they left in the sand right here, which means all of the nurse sharks were out swimming around. I found this out right here just a few minutes after that when I got face to face with one unexpectedly. Moving on, I couldn't believe the amount of life around the lighthouse. There are literally thousands of fish. I got so lost every time I swam through the schools. Snappers, grunts, and some really beautiful parrotfish were surrounding me. This lighthouse is also famous for having massive barracudas, like this guy right here, who is undoubtedly the largest and scariest barracuda I have ever seen. The barracudas were in the background in almost every shot, because this is pretty much the perfect hunting ground for them. They have thousands of different prey items of available to them at any time, making this a rather easy place to hunt. Now, I started making my way around to the other side of the lighthouse when I had this awesome encounter with the Southern Stingray. I'm so glad I had my Nomad for Alligator Lighthouse. Even though it's really shallow, staying on the bottom made exploring so much easier. Eventually, I reached the back side of the lighthouse, and this is where I got some of the best underwater shots of my life. It was beautiful under the surface, as everywhere I turned, there was something new to film.
However, this spot had a lot more to offer than just big fish. I was able to find this small yellow ray and a baby eel hiding in the rocks. Now, since we got to the lighthouse so early, I was the only person in the water, which means a lot of the marine life was still present. It's so nice to see such a popular spot have such vibrant marine life. Eventually, one of the nurse sharks settled back down under the structure, where I was able to get in really close. Nurse sharks are bottom dwellers, and they like to feast on small fish, crustaceans, and conch. They're pretty docile sharks, especially at this spot where they see people on a daily basis. However, eventually my nomad battery ran low, so I had to head back up to the boat. The two hours I spent underwater at Alligator Lighthouse brought me some awesome animal encounters. This lighthouse has such a rich history, and although it may not seem very big underwater, there's seemingly an endless amount of places to explore. Stick around for my next video to watch me dive one of the most famous dive sites in the Florida Keys. And subscribe if you haven't already so you never miss out on new adventures.